And when I think of as above, so below, it really tunes me into this reality of oneness, that we are all uh, somehow the entire universe individualized. We're not just an individual in the universe. We're not just a drop in the ocean. We're the entire ocean in a drop. And when I meditate on that, when I open my eyes to it, when I recognize that there's a power that holds it all together, there's a power that has designed it, there's a, we can call it the, the great creator, uh, the grand architect of life, God, spirit, whatever we want to call that, but there's a source of that. And what is that source? Um, it is it is love and it's beyond what we call love sometimes, but it's a power that's felt. It's the power of creation. David referred to it last week as a carrier wave. And it's just like, I wanted to dive a little deeper into carrier wave. So you guys want to hear what the, the uh, definition of a carrier wave is? Yes, a carrier wave is the continuous electromagnetic radiation of constant amplitude and frequency that is given out by a transmitter. So think about that. When we think about our cosmos, we can think of the, the sun as a continuous electromagnetic radiation, right? And yet this as above, so below goes beyond even our solar system, beyond even that. It's just like, wow, we are the microcosm, but we are made like that. So that, you know, becoming a sun takes on a whole new meaning when we really come to understand that. We can come to understand that love is the carrier wave. Love is the power. Love has all of that intelligence within it. And when we tune into it, when we allow it to really penetrate us, when we open to it, when we turn to it, we become alchemists, which is another one of those words that have come out of the hermetic tradition. And, you know, as human beings, sometimes alchemy, we got a little distracted. We were trying to learn, turn, learn how to turn lead into gold physically. And, you know, I don't know if anybody ever had any real success with that. But that's how our mind can, can go. But what is really meaning, what the true meaning of that is, is to allow this carrier wave to come into us and transmute the human experience, to change our lives, to change our hearts, to change our society, to change us. And how powerful is it to know that we do bring that? When we open to it, we're not only a receiver of this power, but we're a transmitter. Isn't that what attunement, attunement's all about? We're like opening to something, that, that carrier wave, and we're allowing it to come through us, and we're directing it with someone, we're holding someone in their, in their field and allowing something higher to happen that is beyond this brain, beyond what we think as human beings, beyond our capacity, just as this physical person, it's beyond. It, it tunes into like something so much bigger. It's been so wonderful to like really dive into this meditation, this contemplation this week. I, I just want to share a quick little story. Um, my niece, you've heard me talk about her before. Uh, Shyla, she's just, she turned 13 this year. She shared a little story. We were talking the other day and she's like, she's into listening to whale songs now. She's like, she is a self-directed sentient being, okay? She's 13, she's got it all. And it was so beautiful because what she said, she's like, yeah, sometimes when I'm listening to it, a tear just comes down my, my face. She's like, I feel the emotion of it. And, and she's like, it's kind of like when you did that clearing thing with me, which was actually an attunement. So she's opening to this frequency, right? We're talking frequency here. And it's like, wow, are these whales singing the carrier wave? I don't know, maybe so, but that's how it lands in her heart. And so just want to share that little piece of like this, this reality of the interconnected with all things 
and this carrier way of, of love that is the true reality that we can all tune into. So thank you for letting me share.